the rim, tipped out by Tracy, but it will goes to the Gamecocks anyway. Johnson now to Cooper. Cooper pass to the right wing, Zachary Davis. Davis dribbles with the left hand, passes to the left elbow. Gray coming off the bench, Josh Gray. Ball goes inside, hook shot up from Murray Boyles. No, offensive rebound, kick out Cooper. Misses a triple from the left wing, rebound Ducks. Oregon with a two-point lead. Shellstad drives down the left side, lost the handle, goes out of bounds on the baseline. It'll be Gamecock ball when we come back. 15.32 to go in the first half. Oregon with a 7-5 advantage as we head to our first media timeout. It's the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship from Pittsburgh on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hey, Duck fans. This year, experience Alaska wildlife and glaciers with Holland America, proud partner of the University of Oregon. Celebrate the incredible basketball season with up to 45% off fares, up to $300 on board credit, and add a third or fourth friend or family member for free. With convenient cruises from the Pacific Northwest, this summer is the perfect time to see Alaska. Visit hollandamerica.com or contact your travel advisor to book today. Go Ducks! Everybody in your crew identifies as either Big Mac Burger, McNuggets, or McCrispy Sandwich. But you're the filet fish Sandwich all day. That crispy fish, that savory tartar sauce, that melty cheese, that pillowy bun. Yeah, you get it. Every time. Now, BOGO for a dollar has your crew covered with Big Mac, Chicken McNuggets, and filet fish Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid for items equal or lesser value. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Fifteen thirty-two to go in the first half. Our first media timeout. This broadcast of the NCAA Division One Men's Basketball Championship is authorized under broadcast rights granted by the NCAA through Westwood One. It is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. Every time I read that, I feel like I need to. Get my big movie trailer booming voice going and have that really powerful disclaimer voice. But it's really just a nice way of saying that a lot of people broadcast this event and there's an awful lot of interest. And, well, that's a good thing. Ducks and Gamecocks here. The number 11 seed Oregon against the number 6 seed in South Carolina. A little bit on South Carolina, the 10th NCAA tournament appearance in program history, but the first for the Gamecocks since 2017 when they went to the Final Four. The Final Four that season, by the way, was in Phoenix. The Final Four this season is in Phoenix. They're 8-10 all time in the NCAA tournament. Four of those wins came in 2017. It's the first time that the Gamecocks are ever facing a Pac-12 school in the NCAA tournament. Back in action, Gamecock ball, and into the lane, a shot up on a hook from Murray Boyles, and a goaltend is called. They'll review it at the timeout. I'll tell you, it was close. From my vantage point, I'm happy to report that I can see the uh, replay monitors that the CBS crew is using, and, well, it's uh, going to be a 50-50 call. They'll review it next stoppage of play. It's tied at seven for now. Cario Oquindo with it, left corner, taking it toward the basket, throws it to the perimeter. Ducks move it to the top. Kusnard, nine to shoot. Kusnard around a screen to the right mid post. He's blocked on his attempt. Zach Davis takes it away. Ball thrown ahead. South Carolina runs the floor, and Cooper lays it in. All SEC second teamer, and the Gamecocks have their first lead of the game, nine to seven. Under 15 in the first half in Pittsburgh. Usnar lobs it toward Dante. Dante able to grab it under the basket, but he stepped on the baseline. It'll be a turnover for Oregon. Already the fourth Oregon turnover. 
Four points off turnovers for South Carolina thus far. 14-35 left in the first half. to seven South Carolina weaving around the perimeter right now to the right wing Cooper pass up top to right back up point guard in the game now Gamecocks moving around the perimeter still to Studi Studi gets the ball inside deflected by the Ducks Josh Gray lost it Oregon throws it ahead to Shellstad. he gets bumped to the floor but it goes out of bounds over his head another turnover for Oregon just too many times the Gamecocks and Ducks have traded turnovers here in the first few minutes. We're sitting across from the bench here in the NCAA tournament, and I can hear Coach Altman saying simple plays. Gamecocks move the ball to Davis. He takes the left corner three, misses it. Dante rebounds and then passes it right to Davis, who lays it in. Dante threw it right into the hands of Davis who stepped in front of Kusnar. 6-0 run for South Carolina in the last minute 29. And a whistle away from the ball. Foul will go on Zachary Davis away from the basketball. 13-38 remaining in the first half. Oregon down 4. 6-0 run for the Gamecocks. Ducks trying to stop it here. Tracy has it poked loose by Wright. Dribble around the perimeter. Wright steals it. Throws it to back. Mack triple. Off the mark from the left wing. Rebound by Shellstad. Ducks race it across midcourt. Kusnard now down the left side. Passes it to Dante. Dante's got it. Lays it in off the glass. Ducks have turned it over six times in the last four and a half minutes. But are within two. 11-9, South Carolina in front. Driving baseline, right, under the basket, lays it in. Defensively, Ducks got to tighten things up. Offensively, got to stop turning the basketball over. Seven turnovers for the Ducks. And three of them in the last, well, now five of them in the last three minutes. Oregon down 13-9. Duck ball around the perimeter. Tracy to Oquindo up top. Oquindo. To Kusnard, right wing. Kusnard dribbling, back and down, back and down, toward the right block, steps to the basket and scores. Oregon within two, it's 13 to 11, Gamecocks. Bounce pass to the top, Mac. Now right. And Studi. Studi passes to Johnson, who drives inside and is fouled on the floor. Whistle goes against Shellstad. <laughs> Mo Diawara checking in for Infali Dante. Brennan Rigsby checking in for Jermaine Kusnar. Ducks getting their seniors a breather here before the under-12 media timeout in the first half. Oregon trailing by two and a whistle on the inbound play. South Carolina... And a foul called against Michi Johnson. It was away from the ball, and honestly, I didn't see what he did. That's already the third foul on South Carolina. Ducks have one. Oquindo takes it toward the right mid post. Picks up his dribble. Now to Shellstad. Shellstad. Help from a screen. Hedged hard by South Carolina. He passes out to Oquindo, right wing. Oquindo. Now to Shellstad with four to shoot. Launches a long three. Too strong. Rebound South Carolina. Gamecocks lead 13 to 11. From the right wing, trying to drive. Cut off right. Back out to Mack. Right elbow. Mack trying to back down Diawara to the block. Misses off the glass. Good D by Diawara. And he grabs the rebound. Outlet pass to Shellstad. Shellstad to Oquindo. Now Oquindo to Diawara. To the left wing, Shellstad. Another hedge screen by South Carolina. Forces the pass to Rigsby. Now to Diawara up top. Diawara dribbles it with seven to shoot to Rigsby. Rigsby, another hedge screen. Rigsby with under five. Trying to drive. Fades away and hits off the glass. Drove to the left block. 
hung in the air, faded away. He ties it at 13. Good touch shot from Rigsby. Next whistle will be a timeout. South Carolina's Johnson with it. Around a screen. Johnson near the right elbow, blocked on the jumper by Rigsby. Good D by the Ducks. Shellstad give to Oquindo now. Oquindo up top, stops at the left elbow, pass to Rigsby. Rigsby surveys the defense. Diawara comes to set a screen. He passes it to the left corner. Oquindo three, back iron. Rebound grabbed by South Carolina. Tied at 13. Gamecock ball. Mack, the stretch four around the perimeter. Hand off to Wright. Wright tries to drive to the block. Missed it from the right block, but he gets the offensive rebound. Kick out to Mack for three. No good. Shellstad rebounds. Throws it off the foot of a Gamecock trying to save it out of bounds. Ball grabbed by Studi, and he goes up for a lay-in and fouled. Shellstad grabbed it, was falling out of bounds on the baseline. He tried to throw it off Studi's foot feet. Studi was ready for it. Went back up with it, drew the foul. He'll go to the line for two. Gamecocks have missed four straight, have not scored in almost three minutes. Ducks, as a result, tie the game at 13 apiece. 10.01 to go in the first half in Pittsburgh. Oregon facing South Carolina. NCAA Men's Basketball Championship on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. First Interstate Bank is the proud sponsor of the Community Hero Program. Throughout the year, Duck fans have been submitting stories about heroes in our community. And First Interstate Bank wants to recognize Isaiah Barnett, an extraordinary 8-year-old with a heart bigger than his lemonade business. Running the best lemonade stand in town, he doesn't just quench thirst, he quenches souls. Through fundraisers and acts of kindness, Isaiah embodies the spirit of giving. Isaiah often gives a portion of his profits to various local places. This young entrepreneur's lemonade is not just refreshing, it's a sweet reminder of the power of generosity. On behalf of First Interstate State Bank. Thank you, Isaiah Barnett. We'll have more from Pittsburgh after this. Dante going to the basket. He slaps. Dante Duck on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Patrick, watching my nieces grow, play, and learn is amazing, but not every child gets to be carefree. One in six kids in the U.S. are hungry. This breaks my heart, and it's something that Feeding America is working to change. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste and gives it to families in need. To help, visit feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. This message is for Karina, our mom who finished her high school diploma at age 28. Hi, Mom. It's Amethyst and Nicholas. Congratulations on getting your diploma. You worked so hard and have taught us so much. We We love you. When you graduate, they graduate. Finish your high school diploma for you and for them. Visit finishyourdiploma.org to find free and supportive adult education centers near you. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. Tied at 13 with 10.01 to go in the first half. It's the first round of the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. The Oregon Band made the trip, the Duck made the trip, and the cheerleaders made the trip with the Oregon basketball team. And I tell you what, I'd say the split of red and green is about 50-50. There's a lot of local fans here in Pittsburgh. The second deck is full here at PPG Paints Arena, the home of Rob Mosley's Pittsburgh Penguins. There's a lot of neutral fans, but most of the fans here are are Creighton fans. There's a lot of blue. I'll tell you, I loved what Greg McDermott said. The Creighton head coach who followed Dana Altman as the head coach at Creighton. He said yesterday that he felt like Oregon would have a lot of fans because all the Creighton fans in blue are going to be cheering for the green and yellow because of the respect that they have for Dana Altman. I loved that Greg McDermott said that. And the storylines, let's just say it'll be the easiest pregame show in the history of broadcasting if Oregon and Creighton end up playing in the second round on Saturday. So many storylines, so many connections between the two programs. 
South Carolina's Studi at the line, and he hits the first free throw, bounces it in. That means the lead now belongs to South Carolina. It's 14 to 13 Gamecocks. Studi. Bounces this one off the rim. Offensive tip-in attempt, no good. Davis not able to score it, and then he fouls Oquindo after Oquindo grabbed the rebound. 9.56 remaining in the first half. That'll be the fourth foul against South Carolina. Rigsby. Running point here for the Ducks a little bit. He passes it to Kusnard, right wing. Kusnard looking for Dante, doesn't have it. Now puts it on the floor, attacks the paint, throws it to the perimeter. Ball to Rigsby, now Oquindo up top. Oquindo around a screen from Dante. Moves toward the left mid post, spins toward the basket. A little too strong. Offensive rebound, Dante. Dante back up, foul. The big fellow will go to the line with South Carolina leading 14-13. Dante on the year, 60% free throw shooter. Two shots for Dante. Good. Fourteen apiece. And it'll stay that way. Dante's free throw bounces out. He splits them at the line. Jacoby Wright off the bench, running point for South Carolina. His feet in the middle of that March Madness logo, spanning midcourt here in Pittsburgh. Pass to the right wing, Davis. Davis to Murray Boyles, the freshman. One dribble, pass to Johnson. Johnson driving, kicking, right wing three, good. Jacoby Wright, 32% from downtown, hits it. It's 17 to 14, Gamecocks. Ball goes to Evans now and back to Rigsby. To the right wing, Oquindo. Oquindo, pass to the top, Kusnar. Kusnar, jab step, fires a three short from the top of the key. Rebound, Zach Davis, averages three and a half a game. Ahead to Johnson. From the top of the key, Johnson to the right elbow. Now a pass to the perimeter. Ball goes to the left wing, right. Dribbles toward the middle of the paint, kick out. Right wing three, Johnson, good. Also a 32% three-point shooter, and it's a six-point lead for South Carolina, who's on a 6-0 run. Kusnard across midcourt. Double screen coming for him. Kusnard uses it to the right side of the floor, throws it to Rigsby. Left wing, fakes a three. Rigsby dribbles with the right hand, pass to Aquindo, swing to the right. Kusnard triple. Good from the right wing. 20 to 17, Oregon back within three, stopping another 6 0 run for South Carolina. Murray Boyles now to Studi, left wing. He lobs it toward the right wing. Davis attacking the basket, cut off by Dante at the short corner. He tries to pass it. Dante deflects and steals it. Ducks have numbers the other way. Kusnard steps toward the basket, hits the runner, contested in the middle of the lane. Heck of a take from Kusnar. Oregon back within one. Shellstad and Tracy waiting to check in. South Carolina, pass to the right corner, trying to drive baseline. Cut off is Studi. He passes it to the free throw line. Stolen. Rigsby knocks it loose, and he's fouled trying to run up the floor. With 7.04 remaining in the first half, Oregon now with a bit of momentum. Trailing the six seed South Carolina 20 to 19. The number 11 seed Oregon in a good one with the Gamecocks. 7.04 to go in the first round. This is the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, it's Les Schwab Tires. Right now, get up to $80 instant savings on a set of four select tires. Our spring tire sale is a little gift just to say, congrats, you made it through winter. Now you can swap out those winter tires for a fresher set at a lower price. Book an appointment online today. 
Les Schwab Tires, ranked number one by Forbes for customer service and auto repair and maintenance. Limited time offer while supplies last. See LesSchwab.com slash sale for details. Wherever you are in life, once a duck, always a duck, and that's OCCU. Since 1956, OCCU has helped the University of Oregon community take flight financially with great rates, lower fees, nationwide ATM access, and mobile banking. Earn more interest with remarkable checking and show your duck devotion with a duck debit card. If you're a duck, you belong at OCCU. Go Ducks! Join OCCU. Learn more at myoccu.org slash getduckdebit. Insured by NCUA. your backs into it. Um, Captain, you might consider talking to a specialist about your anxiety. I can't do that without a referral from my doctor, and I marooned him on an island. If you have a Pacific Source health plan, Captain, you're not required to have a referral. Pacific Source health plans, you say? Excellent. I've done some of my best work in the Pacific. No referrals required to see a specialist. Just another way Pacific Source health plans goes beyond what's required. Visit PacificSourceMembersFirst.com Gamecocks lead the Ducks 20 to 19 here in this first round game in Pittsburgh. It's Oregon and South Carolina. Ashley Gentry's got some scores for you back in the OSN studio on the two and a half time. Maybe some scores along the way as well. I've been keeping track of that Arizona Long Beach State game, and Wildcats were able to get it done as the two seed in the West region, 85 to 65. Earlier today, Creighton beat Akron 77 to 60. So Creighton has advanced to play on Saturday. The winner of South Carolina and Oregon square off against the Blue Jays at some point on Saturday. Illinois and Moorhead State. That's the battle of the Menega household between Illinois and Moorhead State. Coach Mike Menega's wife, Shanetta, is a graduate of Illinois and then Coach Menega went to Moorhead State, and at half, well, it's quite the fight. Illinois with a one-point lead there. I know Coach Menega was keeping an eye on that one all week long. Already had an upset earlier today. Duquesne beat BYU 11 over 6, 71 to 67, and I'm hoping that that's good juju for multiple reasons. One, Duquesne University is hosting this portion of the NCAA championship in Pittsburgh. So a lot of the Duquesne staff was rooting and hooting and hollering and cheering for Duquesne earlier today. And the Ducks would sure love to build on that juju as an 11 seed looking for an upset over a 6 seed here. Ducks with it. They lob it inside quickly as we resume play to Infali Dante. He got behind the defense and laid it in. It's 21-20. to Ducks over Gamecocks. Oregon retakes the lead with a 7-0 run. They've hit three straight, exactly a minute, that 7-0 run for the Ducks. Cooper with it for South Carolina. Now go pass to Johnson. Johnson dribbling to the free throw line. Now toward the block, and he tries to lay it in. Ball deflected out. A.J. Evans blocked it out of bounds to the baseline with six seconds left on the shot clock. Talon Cooper, all-SEC second-team member, will inbound. He gets it toward the right wing. Fake, pass to the top, three ball. No good, but a foul called on Evans around the perimeter. Studi put the shot up, and Evans fouled him on the short three. That's one that Evans and the Ducks would like back. It's the third team foul against the Ducks. Everybody's got one on the Ducks who has one. Diwara with one and Evans with one. Shellstad's got the third for the Ducks. Leading 21 to 20, but three free throws coming as the ball bounces down for Davis. From Orangeburg, South Carolina, six foot seven sophomore, averages seven points a game. Has settled into the starting lineup over the last month or so for South Carolina when they've been honestly pretty good. Davis misses the free throw here, though. He's at 68% from the charity stripe on the season. Third and final free throw is good. He makes two of three. 
right around that 68% on the season, making two of three. Gamecocks lead by one, 22-21 here in Pittsburgh, the first half. Jermaine Kusnard, the former Gamecock, brings it across. Pass now to Evans up top. Evans puts it on the floor, passes to Shellstad. Shellstad to Dante with 12 to shoot, top of the key. Dante dribbles with the right hand, hand it to Kusnard. Kusnard sets his feet, fires a triple, short, tipped and rebounded by Johnson of South Carolina. Looking to run the floor. Johnson into the lane, tries to pass to Gray, who had it deflected by Evans. Evans hit the deck on the baseline trying to save it. Almost took out a photographer and Dr. Wiltshire as well. Evans is all right. Everybody in the band's all right. South Carolina will inbound as it deflected out off the Ducks. Inbound to right. Open for a left corner three. Way short. Rebound Dante. Shellstad got tied up and was slow on the rotation on the out-of-bounds defense, but Davis, excuse me, right, missed it really short. Oregon trailing by one with the ball. Tracy. Now to Evans up top. 17 to shoot. Bounce pass to Dante. Dante with a handoff to Kusnard. Kusnard dribbling left wing. Surveys the defense. Bounce pass into Dante. Double team doesn't come yet. Now it does. Dante with four to shoot. Ball thrown to the perimeter. Now Shellstad open. Right wing three off the mark. Rebound South Carolina. And Tracy tied up. Gray on the rebound. That'll be a foul on Bam Tracy. Five twenty to go in the first half. That's the fourth foul against the Ducks. Four individuals with one. Tracy picks up his first. Ducks down 22-21 to South Carolina. Gamecock ball. Cooper brings it up, averaging four and a half assists per game. Ten points per contest. Minnesota transfer in a South Carolina uniform now. Passes to the left wing, Johnson now to the corner, right, puts it on the floor, bounce pass out to the perimeter, top of the key, Johnson fires a long three, short, ball deflects out to Tracy, he tracks it down near the right wing. Ball to Kusnard, Kusnard with a head of steam the other way, what a take! Jermaine Kusnard with the lay-in underhand style. And the Ducks back in front, 23-22. That's the fourth lead change of the first half. South Carolina ball right up top. Pass to the right wing. Johnson. Johnson now to Murray Boyles. Top of the key. Bounce pass to the free throw line. Cooper cuts through. Dribbles to the right wing. Six to shoot. Cooper bounce pass toward the right block. In the post. Back and down. The freshman Murray Boyles passes to right. Cuts to the basket. He lays it in. And they're going to review it. I don't know that he got that off in time as the shot clock expired. They'll take a look. Oregon with a one-point lead. Officials are looking at the monitor to see the review. And it looks like they're going to send the timeout full. Oregon 23, South Carolina 22. Coming back to Pittsburgh on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Voyage Hard Iced Tea is locally crafted and independently brewed in Eugene, Oregon. And after the review, it... is a shot clock violation. So the Ducks will keep the lead 23-22. to 22. Duck basketball out of the break. Shellstad will pass it to Kusnard. Bounce pass to Dante, left block. Dante throws it to the perimeter. Shellstad now Tracy, right corner, hits the three. Ducks by four. 26-20, Oregon. And Shellstad goes for the steal, almost gets it around the perimeter. Now pass to Davis from the left corner. He misses a three, rebound Evans. Went for the steal, 
didn't cost them. Ducks by four. They've led by as many as five. They led 5 nothing in this game before South Carolina scored its first bucket. Shellstad feeling out the defense right wing. Takes it toward the top of the key now. Ten to shoot. Shellstad passes it to Kusnar. Driving baseline left side. He's fouled and won on a shot put style floater. And I say that because he's so quick at hanging in the air and then just lifting the ball with his right hand over the rim. Looks like a shot putter sometimes out in track and field. Ducks now leading by six. Oregon's largest lead of the contest. Oregon on a 7-0 run the last minute 27. Kusnard. Free throw. Three point play for Jermaine Kusnard. It's 29-22. Ducks. 8-0 run in 90 seconds for Oregon. South Carolina up top right. He bounce passes toward the left side. Murray Boyles passes to right, left corner. He dribbles it, pass to the top, Mack. Mack defended by Evans. Hand off there to Cooper. Back to Mack. Mack is fouled by Evans. He went for the steal on the dribble. And that's the second on K.J. Evans the fifth on Oregon in the first half. Ducks have hit three straight and six of their last eight. Oregon has been much more efficient than South Carolina. Ducks at 60% shooting. Gamecocks 35%. Murray Boyles from the left wing. Taking it toward the basket. Had it stripped. The triple. Long rebound Oquindo. Ducks looking to run. Oquindo offensive foul. Right got in front of him and near the right mid post Oquindo ran into him Oquindo picked up the dribble and I think that made the call a little easier for the official 29 to 22 Ducks it's still an 8-0 run for Oregon the last 208 Gamecocks have missed five straight shots Cooper to the right wing. Davis. Now the ball toward the right corner. Back and down. It's the big man, Mack. Tries to go up. Lost the ball. Had it stolen. Tracy deflected it. Ducks steal it. Kusnard to the top of the key. Into Dante. Dante one-on-one is fouled. Murray Boyles just hugged him. That'll be the seventh against, no, eighth against South Carolina. Excuse me. Murray Boyles knew he was beat and figured, well, it, rather than an easy dunk, I'll just hug you and you got to go to the free throw line. Dante with seven points, one of three at the foul line, and he bounces the front end of the one and one in. Oregon by eight, largest lead for the Ducks thus far. Dante, short on the next free throw. 30 to 22, Oregon in front. Cooper, bounce pass to Mack, left wing. Mack throws it to Cooper. Cooper, jumper near the left mid post, no good. Rebound, Kusnar. Oregon looking to run. Shellstad gives it to Kusnard right back. Now he goes down the right side. Kusnard, tough lay in, rolls it in off the glass and the front of the rim. Oregon by 10. An 11-0 run for the Ducks with a minute 40 to play in the first half. Murray Boyles puts his head down, tries to drive, foul called. Oh, boy. That'll be the fifth against the Ducks. With a minute 34 to go in the first half. Shellstad getting a breather. Oregon leading by 10. 
Ducks have hit four straight. South Carolina with seven straight field goal misses. But Murray Boyles goes to the line here after the seventh foul for a one and one attempt, and he hits it. It ends the 11 0 run for the Ducks. Call it an 11 1 run, though, because it was also an 11 1 run because of a free throw for South Carolina earlier. Murray Boyle's second free throw. Left handed shooter, 68% of the foul line on the year, hits both. Oregon 32, South Carolina 24. And Bam Tracy gets it into Rigsby. Tracy now looking for Kusnar. Gets it to him. Left wing, lob inside. Dante, two men around him. Takes a lot of contact. Misses the turnaround hook from the left block. Eight-point lead for the Ducks. South Carolina rebound. Johnson with it around the perimeter. Max sets a screen. Dribbles to the left wing. Thrown to the left corner. Driving. Davis. Power hop into the middle of the lane. Fouled on the attempt. Bam Tracy called for it. His second. Shellstad, Evans, and Tracy now all with two. Both teams in the bonus with eight fouls in the first half. Two free throws here for Davis. Minute five to go until the Toyota halftime. Free throw bounces off back iron, then down through the net. Second free throw, good. Oregon 32, and South Carolina 26. And Oregon will take a timeout, the use it or lose it timeout. And in the NCAA tournament, this one goes full. In the regular season, it does not. In the NCAA tournament, the called timeout in the first half also goes full, so we'll take it. A bonus break on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Hi, it's Corky here to make you a promise with Les Schwab Tires. We'll take care of your tires even after you buy them. Rotations, rebalancing, flat repairs, air checks, brake checks, alignment checks. And I'm out of time to list the rest of our included services. Point is, we give you and your dollar the most mileage possible. That's our best tire value promise. I'll pinky swear on it. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. It's another exciting season of Duck basketball. Let's keep the fun going all season long by making sure everyone gets home safely. Before you start your car, always put your phone in park. That means turning notifications off, putting both hands on the wheel, and keeping your eyes on the road ahead. Because distracted driving puts everyone at risk. That's why it's illegal in Oregon. So don't let a fun day end badly. And let's all get there safely. Park your phone. It's the way to go. A reminder from ODOT. With a minute five remaining, the Ducks have really locked down defensively. It's 32 to 26, Oregon, the 11 seed Ducks against the six seed Gamecocks. Ducks have hit four of their last five. South Carolina does not have a field goal in the last seven minutes and 17 seconds. The last field goal for the Gamecocks was at the 822 mark. That's a long time. A few free throws for South Carolina. That's the only scoring that second year head coach Lamont Paris's team has had. Came to South Carolina after five seasons as the head coach at University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. He was 87 and 72 there. He was 65 and 29 though, the previous three seasons before becoming the Gamecock head coach. His style is a, a, akin to a Wisconsin Badgers. Dane Altman said that this squad is similar to Washington State offensively and UCLA defensively. Nothing that the Ducks haven't seen before.
It'll be Rigsby, Kusnar, Dante, Shellstad, and Tracy as we resume play. Oregon leading 32-26 and trying to close the first half strong. Ducks went on an 11-0 run a little while ago, and they've led by as many as 10 in the half. Shellstad goes to Rigsby. Now Rigsby around the perimeter, pass to the left wing. Kusnard, ball above his head. Dante comes, slips the screen. Dante going toward the basket. He traveled. The slip screen worked. A fake on the screen. Two guys were around Kusnard. He threw it to Dante. Oregon had the mismatch they wanted in the post. Just didn't go. Now it didn't go the way the Ducks wanted anyway. South Carolina letting the ball roll up. 44 seconds to go until halftime. Ducks leading 32-26. Cooper, pass to the right wing. Johnson now back to Cooper, swing to the left wing. Mack, defended by Kusnar. Ball thrown into Davis, who is blocked by Dante. The miss grabbed by Oquindo. Dante got a fingernail on that ball, and it spun it just enough to roll off the front of the rim. Oregon can go for likely the final shot. Shot clock's still on, but it's less than a second separating the two clocks. Oregon leading 32-26. to Kusnard takes it toward the right wing, kicks it toward Shellstad. From the right wing, he fires and hits the jumper. South Carolina, a midcourt shot. Oh, it goes down! Shellstad hit the two-pointer from the right wing. South Carolina, though, got the midcourt shot off. Cooper off the backboard. Good. That's going to count. Instead of 34-26, this game's going to be 34-29. to Oregon with a five-point lead. The Gamecocks had missed eight straight field goals before the half-court heave goes down. A little bit of momentum for the Gamecocks. Again, they missed eight straight. Now one for their last nine with the half-court prayer being answered. Ducks, though, close the half, making five of their last six shots. And Oregon leads South Carolina 34-29. to Toyota halftime coming with a lot of scores, notes, and a whole lot more coming. It's the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. First round in Pittsburgh. Ducks ahead of the Gamecocks, 34-29 on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Introducing Lem and Lime for Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Hey. Hello. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor, and it's caffeine-free. One of you must be a little more important than the other. We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. That doesn't sound right. I like it. So you saying hip-hop could be hop hip Works for me. Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. Pepsi is proudly distributed by locally owned Bigfoot Beverages. Go Ducks, drink Pepsi. Hello, thank you for calling the front desk. Hi, could I get a few more towels for my room? For room service, press 1. New bedding, press 2. Wake up call, press 3. Uh... I just want some towels. Does everything have to go through an automated phone tree? Especially when you're dealing with something serious like your health plan. At Pacific Source Health Plans, you'll get human service, not automated phone trees. We'll answer your call with a real person. Pacific Source Health Plans. Visit PacificSourceNumbersFirst.com. This is the NCAA Tournament on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield the shooting. It was crippling, but it had to be preserved. In response to the Pulse nightclub shooting that affected the LGBTQ community, Barbara Poma, owner of Pulse, founded the One Pulse Foundation to honor Pulse victims and survivors. If you're an ally of this community, speak out. There are more of us together than apart. It is the power of love in its rawest form. Join the fight for LGBTQ acceptance. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. 
The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies because feeling full can sound like this. How did the interview go? I did it. I got the job. I can't believe it. And like this. Mom, I got first place at the science fair with my volcano project. That's amazing, sweetie. Congratulations. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished and everyone deserves to live a full life. Join the movement to end hunger at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. This is the Toyota Halftime Report on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Toyota, let's go places. A first half recap, scores from the Pac-12 and the rest of college basketball, and the first half stats are all right here. Let's go back to courtside. Here's Joey Mack. A 34-29 lead for Oregon over South Carolina. It is the number 11 seed Ducks leading the number 6 seed Gamecocks. Toyota halftime here. And your halftime stats are brought to you by Pacific Clear Vision Institute, the official LASIK and eye doctors of the Oregon Ducks. Oregon closed the half, making five of its last six shots. South Carolina, one of its last nine after the buzzer beater from half court out of the hands of Talon Cooper. Very balanced. South Carolina led for 808. Ducks led for 906, but they do lead by five where it counts. Oregon 61% from the floor, 14 of 23, 33% from beyond the arc, three of nine, and 50% at the free throw line, three of six. South Carolina 32%, nine for 28, 33% from three as well, four of 12, and seven of nine at the free throw line, 78%. Oregon turned it over nine times, six points off those turnovers for South Carolina. Seven turnovers for the Gamecocks, nine points off of them for the Ducks. 16 rebounds for each team, but South Carolina has five offensive rebounds. Meanwhile, Oregon has just one, and South Carolina has a 3-1 to one advantage in second chance points. 8-2 to two advantage in bench points for South Carolina as well. 14-8 to eight points in the paint, Oregon winning that category. Fast break points, pretty close. It's 5-4 to four, South Carolina. Ducks have four blocks. Gamecocks have one. Oregon with four steals. South Carolina with two. Ducks have eight assists. Gamecocks with six. And it was tied five times for two minutes and 46 seconds. And again, only 58 seconds. That's the differential. A 58-second differential between lead time between the two squads. Oregon 34, South Carolina 29. Jermaine Kusnard with 14 to lead all scorers. Those are your Pacific Clear Vision Institute halftime stats. The official LASIK and eye doctors of the Oregon Ducks. So the halftime continues. Ashley Gentry's got a lot of scores and highlights. And, well, it's March Madness. Fun time of year. Ducks in front in Pittsburgh. I'm Joey Mack and Ashley Gentry. As you covered with some scores next on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. It's another exciting season of Duck basketball. Let's keep the fun going all season long by making sure everyone gets home safely. Before you start your car, always put your phone in park. That means turning notifications off, putting both hands on the wheel, and keeping your eyes on the road ahead. Because distracted driving puts everyone at risk. That's why it's illegal in Oregon. So don't let a fun day end badly. And let's all get there safely. Park your phone. It's the way to go. A reminder from ODOT. Hey, Duck fans, this year, experience Alaska wildlife and glaciers with Holland America, proud partner of the University of Oregon. Celebrate the incredible basketball season with up to 45% off fares, up to $300 on board credit, and add a third or fourth friend or family member for free. With convenient cruises from the Pacific Northwest, this summer is the perfect time to see Alaska. Visit hollandamerica.com or contact your travel advisor to book today. Go Ducks! the big dance in 60 seconds. This is Ducks Basketball from Learfield. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out, because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. 
The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. Learn more at SmokeyBear.com. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting A Teenager Learning the Lingo GOAT G-O-A-T Acronym Stands for Greatest of All Time As in Spaghetti Sandwiches for Dinner They're my fave Dad You're the GOAT You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same Visit AdoptUSKids.org Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Adopt U.S. Kids and the Ad Council Toyota Halftime Report continues with a check of scores from around the country. Once again, to Ashley Gentry in the Learfield Network Studios. Well, we have hit halftime out in Pittsburgh. It's round one of the NCAA tournament. And the 11 seed Oregon Ducks have the lead over 6 seed South Carolina, 34-29 here at the halfway mark. Ashley Gentry here with you, taking a look around the rest of the Midwest region as we await the start of the second half. Earlier today, the Midwest got things started with a matchup between three-seed Creighton. Winner to play who comes out on top between Oregon and South Carolina, and it will be the Blue Jays who will advance to the second round. They get the win 77-60 over 14th seed Akron. Then coming up later for the Midwest, a 350 Pacific scheduled start between the 10 seed and the 7 seed. Colorado State 10 and 7. Texas in Charlotte, North Carolina for their round one matchup. Rams finished 10 and 8 in Mountain West play and won their first four game to get this meeting with the Longhorns today. Texas 9 and 9 in the Big 12, but 20 and 12 overall. They have the eye test advantage today at the Spectrum Center. Uh, that, again, that game set for 350 Pacific. Midwest action continues this afternoon at 425 in Salt Lake City with the 5th seed Gonzaga and the 12th seed McNeese. Should be a win for the Bulldogs, but this is the NCAA tournament and anything can happen. McNeese had a pretty solid season, too, going 30-3 and three overall, so be sure to keep your eye on that one coming up later today. Then this evening at 920, more of the Midwest to be had out east in Charlotte, North Carolina. The two-seed Tennessee, no doubt bitter after that semifinal loss to Mississippi State. Back on the court, taking on 15-seed St. Peter's from the MAC. They finished third in their conference standings at 12-8, and eight, winner to face Texas or Colorado State. And the Midwest will wrap up day one in Salt Lake City with a matchup between four-seed Kansas and 13-seed Samford. Winner of that game will play Gonzaga or McNeese. Tomorrow for the Midwest, it's the top seed Purdue in Grambling with a 425 tip-off in the winner to move on to play either 8-seed Utah State or 9-seed TCU. They play tomorrow as well around 7 p.m. Pacific. That's how the first round looks for the Midwest region, but... We got a chance to hear from Dante on his first trip to the NCAA tournament. Ducks lead South Carolina 34-29 at the half. And here's what the senior had to say headed into today's game. That's something I want to do since uh, I step, uh, I get into college. And the first time we, I, I was there and I was hurt. So I don't think there's anything to be nervous about. I just come and do whatever I can for the team to win. So. That's Ducks senior in Folly Dante, and what an opportunity for him and the Ducks. Still work to do, but a good start, and Dante is ready to do what it takes to come away with the win here today in Pittsburgh. A quick timeout, then back with a look around what's going on the rest of the tournament here in round one. Ducks 34, Gamecocks 29 at the half. Back after this on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Imagine all the fun you can have this spring break in a new Toyota. Woo-hoo! I'm having fun, and I'm not even there. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Event ends April 1st. When your day one proves they're a real one by showing up with McDonald's breakfast before you even get out of bed. The friends don't let friends skip breakfast deal. Real friends also understand if you eat their hash browns before you even drive back. It's buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's with five options to mix and match. Sausage McMuffin, burrito, McGriddles, biscuit, or hash browns. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. 
If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Duck fans, season ticket deposits are available now for the 2024 football season. Don't miss out on the best seats for the inaugural Big Ten schedule. Support Duck football and be in Autzen for every game next fall. Call 1-800-WEBFOOT or visit www.goducks.com and get your seats today. Go Ducks! Imagine all the fun you can have this spring break in a new Toyota. Woo-hoo! I'm having fun and I'm not even there. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Event ends April 1st. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Oregon. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the express written consent of the University of Oregon and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the University of Oregon. Welcome back inside the Learfield Network studios. We are approaching the start of the second half out in Pittsburgh. And Oregon has the lead over six seed South Carolina 34 to 29. Ashley Gentry here with you inside the Learfield Network Studios taking a look at the rest of the country with round one underway for the NCAA tournament. Earlier today, top seed UNC took the court to face 16 seed Wagner in Charlotte. Tough end to the Tar Heels ACC tournament. They fell in the final to NC State, NC State but come came to play today. Carolina wins at 90 to 62 and will face nine seed Michigan State who beat the eight seed Mississippi State 69 to 51. As for the East region, they kick things off today with 11 seed Duquesne and the six seed BYU. A potential upset brewing in Boston with Duquesne leading it at the half, 38 to 30. Their first tournament game since 1977, and Duquesne with a chance today to keep their dreams alive. The formality about to occur for Duquesne to start the celebration anew. Long inbound, touched by Dallin Hall, and now the game officially in the books, and Keith Dambrot's coaching career will continue for one more game. The retiring coach is sticking around Omaha. The Dukes get the 71-67 win. That's Kevin Kugler on the call on the Westwood One NCAA radio network. Duquesne gets it done. They win it 71-67 over BYU. The first upset in this tournament complete, and Duquesne advances. Next up for the East, three-seed Illinois and 14-seed Moorhead State. The Eagles ended their OVC season on a six-game winning streak, including their championship win over Little Rock 90, or excuse me, 69 to 55. But a tough task today for Moorhead State. And they trail th- three seed Illinois 73 to 54 with about seven and a half minutes to go in the second half. Winner of that game will move on to face Duquesne. But as it sits, it's looking like it's going to be that three seed Illinois, unless Moorhead State can make a comeback late in that game. And in the West region, two seed Arizona, they're getting it done today on in their first round matchup. Against 15 seed Long Beach State, the Wildcats win it by 20. Final score, 85 to 65, and they will face either NC State or Texas Tech in round two. Excuse me, they will play Dayton or Nevada in round two, my fault. And that game is underway as we speak. About six minutes left to go in the first half. And 10 seed Nevada trails 7 seed Dayton, 23 to 16. Again, about six minutes left to go in the first half there in that West Region first round matchup. Coming up for the rest of the country, we've got the South Region kicking things off tonight at 4-10. It's three-seed Kentucky versus 14-seed Oakland, and the winner of that game will play NC State or Texas Tech. They tip off tonight in Pittsburgh at 640. Then later on in the East is two-seed Iowa State taking on 15-seed South Dakota State for their first round meeting out in Omaha. Then following that, 
again, of course, that matchup between 6 seed Texas Tech and 11 seed NC State to see who moves on to the second round. And then later tonight, we've also got Washington State. They're seeded seventh, and they'll take on 10th seed Drake. They're, they've been placed in the East region. First round get matchup coming up for the Cougs later tonight. That's about going to be about a 7 o'clock Pacific tip-off time between, again, 7th seed Washington State and the 10th seed Drake. That's what's going on today in the first round of the NCAA tournament. As for tomorrow, the East region will kick things off early. It's 8 Florida Atlantic and 9 seed Northwestern. They'll get it, their first round matchup going over there in the East, followed by a matchup in the West region between 3 seed Baylor and 14 seed Colgate. Then on TNT, we've got the East Region round one still sticking there. 12th seed UAB versus 5th seed San Diego State. Plenty of other things coming up tomorrow as well. It's the NCAA tournament. There is a lot going on, a lot to talk about. But the main attraction for us, it's 11 seed Oregon versus 6 seed South Carolina. And the Ducks have the lead. It's 34-29 here at the halfway mark. We're going to take a quick time out and get you back courtside with Joey Mack for the start of the second half out in Pittsburgh right after this on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Wherever you are in life, once a duck, always a duck, and that's OCCU. Since 1956, OCCU has helped the University of Oregon community take flight financially with great rates, lower fees, nationwide ATM access, and mobile banking. Earn more interest with remarkable checking, and show your duck devotion with a duck debit card. If you're a duck, you belong at OCCU. Go Ducks! Join OCCU. Learn more at myoccu.org slash getduckdebit. Insured by NCUA. Voyage Hard Iced Tea is locally crafted and independently brewed in Eugene, Oregon. Using real black tea and high-quality ingredients, Voyage is produced in small-batch quantities, which guarantees premium flavors you can taste. Look for 12 packs of original lemon, peach, raspberry, and half-and-half -half hard iced tea, 24-ounce cans in select flavors. Ask for Voyage on draft at your local establishment. This is Ducks Basketball in the NCAA Tournament. Now the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. What is dedication? My biggest fear in the middle of my addiction was that my kids wouldn't have a father. And I started thinking, you know what? This isn't my story. I definitely had to become a better man to be a better father. It's important to me that my kids are empowered and truly believe that if, if they can think it, they can do it. That's dedication. Visit fatherhood.gov to hear more. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. This is your captain. We are going to be experiencing some slight turbulence. Please fasten your... Oh, hold on. Just got a video of my cat. Imagine the pilot of an airplane was as confident as you are texting and driving. Seems kind of crazy when you put it like that. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Second half coming, it's Oregon 34, South Carolina 29. Ducks with the lead, despite that half-court shot. More specifically, a 5 8 court shot. That's a little momentum, though, for South Carolina. Ducks had held them without a field goal for about seven, almost eight minutes toward the end of the second half. It'll be Oregon ball back in action. Shellstad, Kusnard, Evans, Dante, and Tracy. The starting five, the same for the Ducks. Same starting five for South Carolina as well. And as the ball gets passed to the right wing, Tracy had it and a foul called away from the ball on South Carolina. It's on the outstanding freshman, Colin Murray Bowles. Boyles, excuse me. Ball thrown into Evans near midcourt. Out of the right wing, Tracy. Ducks by five with the ball. 
Pass now to Kusnard, top of the key. With 10, driving down the left side, Kusnard, contested take, tips the miss in. Dwayne Kusnard's on a mission right now. He is 7 for 11 from the floor, and after the tip-in on his own miss, has 16 points. Ball goes to the left corner for South Carolina. Now Mack, left elbow, taking it toward the basket, steps away from the hoop, missed it, tipped by Dante to Tracy. 36-29, Oregon. Pass to Dante from Kusnard. Kus Dante lays it in. Spun one way, went the other, and Dante gives the Ducks a 38-29 lead here in the second half. Early minutes in Pittsburgh. Murray Boyles passes it to the left wing, gets it right back, bounce pass under the basket to Cooper, who lays it in. 38-31. Cooper with a good cut to the basket. Pretty easy finish. Shellstad. Running point for the Ducks. Evans sets a screen near the top of the key. Bounce pass to the left wing, Tracy. Tracy over to Shellstad. Shellstad takes it from the right wing. Now to Evans up top, seven to shoot. Evans gets help from a Dante screen. Try to go down the right side. Evans to the basket, and he's fouled. Or blocked out. Heard the whistle, couldn't see what happened with the official standing in front of us. And it was blocked out of bounds. So Shell Staddle inbound. Quick jumper from Dante. Good. Right short corner. And it folly Dante hits the J. Oregon by nine, 40 to 31. Under 18 to go now in the game. Two minutes into the half. Murray Boyles. Now swing to the left wing. Bounce pass to the short corner left side. Davis, bounce pass, cutter to the basket. Swatted out of bounds by Dante. B.J. Mack with the attempt. Swatted out. South Carolina will inbound. Cooper. Inbounds it, gets it back, fires the three, hits it near the right corner. That's a defensive set the Ducks would like back as the ball gets tipped out of bounds by South Carolina, and Oregon will inbound from the sideline near their bench. Ducks leading by six now, 40-34 to 34 after the South Carolina triple. Cooper now, two of four downtown, ten points. Oregon ball. Shellstad pass to the left wing. Tracy driving toward the baseline. Pulls up. Misses the J. Dante offensive rebound, and he's fouled. He was shooting. Tracy had some space. Short corner. Just missed the J, but Dante cleaned it up, and he'll go to the line for two. 17-26. Left to play. Dante with 12 points. He and Kusnard, the only players for the Ducks in double figures. And Dante hits the free throw. Dante now three of six at the charity strike. Five of six from the floor. Then he hits the second free throw. Dante four of seven with 14 points. Well, Dante five of six from the floor. He was 12 for 12 against Colorado in the Pac-12 championship game. An amazing number. Shellstad steals a lazy pass. Runs the floor in transition and lays it in. Oregon back up by 10 after Shellstad steals that lazy pass around the perimeter by South Carolina. Now toward the baseline, left side. Murray Boyles bounce pass to Davis, who was cutting to the basket. Dante steps in front, steals the ball in the middle of the lane. Oregon bringing it up the floor. Chance to add to their largest lead of the game. Oregon leading 44-34. Shellstad to Evans. Evans gives it to Shellstad. Shellstad with five to shoot. Around the perimeter. Drives toward the left elbow. Throws it to, to Kusnard. He has to fire. Back iron on a long three that was contested. End of the shot clock. Had to take that shot. Ducks still leading by 10. South Carolina 
Throws it toward the sideline. Save from going out of bounds to Johnson to Murray Boyles, and he's fouled on the way to the basket. It's on Dante. That's the first foul on Dante in 22 minutes. You'll take that. 16-13 remaining. Murray Boyles. Couple dribbles. Left-handed free throw. Bounces out. Duck still by 10. On the year, a 68% foul shooter. Colin Murray Boyles, though, has really been the best player for South Carolina over the last 10 games or so. And he misses the second free throw. Dante grabs the rebound. Oregon still with a 10-point lead. Shellstad comes across the timeline. Gives it to Tracy, left wing, right in front of our broadcast location. Lob to Dante! Dante Dunk! Oregon by 12, the largest lead of the game for the Ducks. Tracy with a great pass, Dante with a stellar finish. Oregon by 12, South Carolina with possession. Cooper, give to Johnson. Long three from the top of the key is good. Give him credit, he hit a long one. There's a reason he was all SEC. 32% from downtown, and he drilled it. 46 to 37, Oregon. Kusnard racing toward the bucket, and he lays it in. What a take from Jermaine Kusnard. Oregon up 48 37. Now, South Carolina from the left wing driving baseline. It's Johnson thrown to the perimeter. Cooper fakes, goes down the left side. Dribbles it toward the corner. 14 to shoot. South Carolina resets. Cooper into the lane. Blocked by Dante on his take. Ball deflects to Kusnard. Kusnard right wing. Three. Yes! 51 to 37 Oregon. 14-47 left in Pittsburgh. Ducks in command. Outscoring South Carolina 17 to 8 in the second half. The lob to Dante, the block by Dante, the three from Kusnard, the seniors carrying the ducks, Kusnard with 21, Dante with 16. Timeout on the floor. It's the NCAA men's basketball championship, and the ducks lead 51 37 on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. How do you unlock a team's true potential? By taking care of their true health. Providence Health Plan understands the power of teamwork, lifting one another up, cheering each other on, and working together for the win. When you're a Providence Health Plan member, we're on your team with individual and employer health plans. That's why we're a proud sponsor of University of Oregon Athletics, because a healthy team is a winning team. To learn more, visit ProvidenceHealthPlan.com ducks and go team. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Everybody in your crew identifies as either Big Mac Burger, McNuggets, or McCrispy Sandwich. But you're the filet fish Sandwich all day. That crispy fish, that savory tartar sauce, that melty cheese, that pillowy bun... Yeah, you get it. Every time. Now, BOGO for a dollar has your crew covered with Big Mac, Chicken McNuggets, and filet fish Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid for items with equal or lesser value. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Ducks in front, 51-37. Duck fans, take flight financially at OCCU with remarkable checking. Show your duck devotion with the duck debit card. Learn more and earn more at myoccu.org slash getduckdebit. 
Ducks have hit three straight. And some turnovers, block shots, good defense in general has led to some offense for Oregon. And how about Jermaine Kusnart so far? Playing his former team, 21 points, 9 of 14 from the floor, 2 of 5 from 3, 3 rebounds, and 5 assists for Jermaine Kusnart. Jermaine Kusnart's the kind of guy that you put him in a competitive game, he's just going to step up. Has that mentality about him. And if Ali Dante has 16 points to go with 6 rebounds, those two guys the last few minutes have been difference makers. 14.45 remaining now here in Pittsburgh. South Carolina trailing 51-37 with the ball. Ducks have been changing up their defense, throwing different looks at South Carolina all game. Johnson dribbles toward the left mid post, misses the J. Rebound Rigsby, who's in the game now. Oregon in front, pass to Kusnard. Left wing three, goes down! Jermaine Kusnard is just feeling it right now. 24 points for Kusnard. Right pass to the left wing, Cooper. With Oregon leading 54-37. Cooper passes it left wing, right to the left corner. Johnson dribbles to the perimeter, pass to right, top of the key, down the right side, driving, lost the ball, Dante steals it from him. Man, and Folly Dante, on both ends of the floor, impacting this game with two blocks and two steals to go with 16 points. And the Ducks lob it to him, right block, he's fouled. Couldn't get the lay-in to go, but Josh Gray bumped him, and he'll go to the line. And that'll send us to a timeout. Oregon 54, South Carolina 37. The Ducks are on an 8-0 run the last minute 45, and it's a 14-3 run for the Ducks in the last 354. Scoring drought of over two minutes for South Carolina. Ducks have hit four straight field goals. Number 11 seed, Oregon, 54. Number six seed, South Carolina, 37. Back to Pittsburgh in a moment on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Imagine all the fun you can have this spring break in a new Toyota. Woo-hoo! I'm having fun and I'm not even there. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Event ends April 1st. <sighs> We've all been there. The sinking feeling when autocorrect sabotages your message just as you hit send. No. Or when you hear those dreaded words. For customer service, press our same one. With Pacific Source Health Plans, you don't have to worry about technology failing you. That's because we serve members with humans, not automated phone trees. Visit PacificSourceMembersFirst.com to learn more. Wherever you are in life, once a duck, always a duck, and that's OCCU. Since 1956, OCCU has helped the University of Oregon community take flight financially with great rates, lower fees, nationwide ATM access, and mobile banking. Earn more interest with remarkable checking, and show your duck devotion with a duck debit card. If you're a duck, you belong at OCCU. Go Ducks! Join OCCU. Learn more at myoccu.org slash getduckdebit. Insured by NCUA. Imagine all the fun you can have this spring break in a new Toyota. Woo-hoo! I'm having fun and I'm not even there. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Event ends April 1st. Jermaine Kusnard leading all scorers with 24 points. And Folly Dante has 16. South Carolina's leading scorer, Talon Cooper, 10. This is the first time that Oregon has ever been an 11 seed in the NCAA tournament.
trying to pull off what would be considered an upset, at least in the bracket seating. Dana Altman. Is 7-0 in NCAA tournament first round games as the head coach of the Ducks. Dante to the line. And he hits the free throw after he drew the foul that sent us to the break. Make it a 9-0 run for Oregon. And it'll stay a 9-0 run. Free throw no good. Studi rebounds it for South Carolina. It's 55-37 Ducks with 13-23 to play here in Pittsburgh. South Carolina ball, Cooper. Pass to the left wing, now to the corner. Three up. Good. Johnson hit the triple. The Ohio State transfer. Now with nine points. Oregon by 15, 55 to 40. Got to keep it up. You know South Carolina is going to counterpunch. Rigsby passes to Dante, right elbow. Dante dribbles it, bounce pass to Kusnar, working right block to the mid post, middle of the lane, hits the shot. He's just so controlled right now as he lets out a scream running back on defense. 57 to 40, Oregon leading. South Carolina ball. Cooper. Pass goes to right. Right, dribbles, bounce pass, Gray cut into the basket. He's fouled by Dante. Dante took that one hard as Gray went down the lane. Looks like he's all right, just a little shaken up. Mo Diawara is going to check in for him at the 12.25 mark here in the second half. I think he might have gotten hit in the throat, or at least the collarbone. So Gray to the line, a 51% foul shooter. Free throw good. Diora coming in, Dante coming out. Looks all right. Gray with his next free throw. Short, rebound Diora. Oregon leading 57 to 41 here. South Carolina crowd pretty subdued. Ducks have hit five straight field goals. Diwara sets the screen for Kusnar. Takes it down the left side. Under the basket. Thrown to the perimeter to Rigsby. Top of the key. Rigsby pass to Tracy. Right side. Eight seconds to shoot. Bounce pass to Kusnar. Around the perimeter. Right wing. Pulls up. Misses the three short. Tough take there from Kusnar. Oregon still leading 57-41. Johnson transition drive. Scores it and one. Down the left side of the lane. Foul on the Ducks will send us to a break as Johnson now has 11 points. It's 57 to 43, Oregon in front. That was the third foul on Bam Tracy. He may have to take a seat for a while. 11.52 to play. Ducks have hit five of their last six, shooting 62% from the floor. Ducks 57, South Carolina 43 here in Pittsburgh. It's the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Pepsi Zero Sugar has taken its flavor to the next level. A Zero Sugar Cola has never tasted this good, but we don't expect you to take our word for it, so we're putting it to the test, starting with me. Cue the fireworks. We have an official best Zero Sugar ever. It's delicious, it's refreshing, and it's so good you'll need to try it for yourself. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Zero never tasted so good. That's what I like. Pepsi is proudly distributed by locally owned Bigfoot Beverages. Go Ducks, drink Pepsi. Hi, it's Corky here to make you a promise with Les Schwab Tires. We'll take care of your tires even after you buy them. Rotations, rebalancing, flat repairs, air checks, brake checks, alignment checks. And I'm out of time to list the rest of our included services. Point is, we give you and your dollar the most mileage possible. That's our best tire value promise. I'll pinky swear on it. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. 
It's another exciting season of duck basketball. Let's keep the fun going all season long by making sure everyone gets home safely. Before you start your car, always put your phone in park. That means turning notifications off, putting both hands on the wheel, and keeping your eyes on the road ahead. Because distracted driving puts everyone at risk. That's why it's illegal in Oregon. So don't let a fun day end badly. And let's all get there safely. Park your phone. It's the way to go. A reminder from ODOT. Back in Pittsburgh, it's Oregon 57 and South Carolina 43. The Ducks have got to keep their foot on the gas here and finish things off. Oregon basketball is brought to you by Pacific Source Health Plans, offering health coverage that goes beyond what's required for members. Learn more at PacificSourceMembersFirst.com. Ducks trying to become the second 11 seed today to win. Duquesne, the host institution here in Pittsburgh, won over BYU. BYU was the sixth seed there, and Duquesne got him. That's in the East Regional, the Ducks in the Midwest Regional where Purdue is the one seed. Johnson misses the free throw as we're back in action. He was going for the three-point play. Didn't get it. So it's still 57 to 43 Ducks. Shellstad to Rigsby, right wing. Rigsby gets it to Kusnard. South Carolina really trying to deny him getting the ball. He's got it left elbow, throws it to Kusnard around the three-point line. Right side, five to shoot. Rigsby passes to Shellstad. Two, one, pull up. Off the mark. Long two-pointer, but Evans rebounds, and he's fouled going back up. Shellstad was inside the arc when he put up a late shot clock attempt. Evans took the miss, and he'll go to the line for two free throws. On the year, K.J. Evans, 78%, and he hits the free throw. One of the better free throw shooters on the team, the freshman K.J. Evans out of Baltimore, Maryland. He told Keyshawn Bartholomew as part of our pregame show that his favorite memory was the first Pac-12 game that he played in against USC. He was really good. For a while there, it was his career high in points before he scored 22 against Oregon State. Now 59-43 to after a couple made free throws by Evans. Ducks in command. South Carolina with it. Studi, pass to the left corner. Cooper. Tries to drive, bounce pass to Davis, cuts to the basket, he lays it in from the right block. South Carolina, that will be the 12th assist for the Gamecocks. They average over 15 a game. Shellstad give to Rigsby, right wing. Oregon leading 59-45. Now Kusnard up top. Dribbles down the left side, stops left block, puts one up, deflected, and a foul on the rebound attempt on the miss. Kusnard put the shot up, and it looked like it was deflected, went high off the backboard, and then Kusnard was fighting for the ball with Studi on the floor, and he got called for a foul. Ducks in the lead still, but South Carolina's hit three straight shots. Now Cooper to the free throw line, out to Mack, left wing, and he hits the J, the triple from the left wing. 59-48. Ducks have got to keep this up. No field goals for Oregon the last two and a half minutes. South Carolina's now hit four straight shots. It's an 11-point lead for the Ducks. Kusnar is fouled around the perimeter away from the ball. Excuse me, not shooting the ball. A non-shooting foul. The third foul on Mack could be critical there. 
Jermaine Cousinard will inbound right in front of our broadcast location. Across from the Oregon bench, he gets it to Dante. And off back to Cousinard, fires the triple, swishes the triple. Jermaine Cousinard, have yourself a day. 29 points, 4 of 8 from 3. 12 of 19 overall at 62-48 Ducks. From the left wing, Mack trying to drive. Gets to the basket, is fouled by Dante. I think that will be the third on Dante. Got to be careful now. 9.40 to play. Dante and Evans both have three, and Tracy has three on the bench. Nine forty left to play. Mac hits the free throw. Mac now with nine points. Ducks have made him a volume scorer. He's only shooting thirty percent in the game. He hits both free throws here. Now ten points for BJ Mac. 62-50, Oregon leading by 12. 9.34 left on the game clock. To Kusnard, left wing, he lobs it to Dante. Dante, some space, fouled. The recovery on the defense for South Carolina was just a foul. That is the fourth on Mac. Sixth team foul against South Carolina. Dante shooting a pair. Short. Dante looking for a free throw make. He'll attempt his second. And good. Ducks by 13, 63-50. Now Davis, right wing. To the top, Johnson driving into the middle of the lane, scores it. Evans with good D, had his hands up. Johnson made a nice shot. Oregon by 11, 63-52. Got to get some stops and keep hitting shots. Nine minutes left on the game clock. Kusnard with a screen hedge. Pass to Evans. Evans fakes, takes it toward the basket, spins to the middle of the lane. Pass to Dante. Dunks! What a job by Evans. Went to the basket, didn't force it. Found Dante wide open for the slam. 65-52 Oregon. Right, passes it to Davis, right wing. Now to the corner, three up. No good from Studi and the foul on the rebound. Or it just went out of bounds on the baseline. Yep. South Carolina was just walking away uh, looking sad, so I assumed foul, but it was just out of bounds. So Studi missed the three. Now 8.20 Left on the clock, 65-52 Oregon. Shellstad dribbling to the right wing. Now he'll pass it to Kusnard, left wing. And to Rigsby, left corner, inside to Dante, one-on-one. Dante is fouled by Johnson. On a shot attempt, Michi Johnson picking up his third foul. Ducks by 13, Dante to the line again. He is 6 for 11 at the free throw line. Really drawing those fouls inside. Dante with 20 points. Free throw good. Second free throw from the big fella. In. 67-52, Oregon leading here. Modiawara checking in. Dante gets a breather. Eight minutes to play. Johnson to the right elbow. Stops, steps toward the basket, misses the contested lay-in. Modiawara with a rebound, has it stolen. Johnson, bounce pass toward 
The bucket, nothing there. Have to pass it out to the perimeter. Johnson now driving again. Pulls up. Hits the J from the free throw line. Benjamin Bozeman's Verdonk is in the game for the first time for South Carolina. 67-54, Oregon leading. Shellstad to the left wing. Feeling out the defense. Pass to Tracy. Tracy right side of the floor. Picks up the dribble. Throws it to Rigsby. Left wing. Catch and shoot. Misses the three too strong. Thought he might get a favorable bounce. Didn't go down. 67-54 Ducks. Johnson trying to do it all himself. Misses a step back three short. The ball is kicked into the backcourt. Grabbed by Johnson. He throws it ahead to Davis. Short corner. Tried to throw it to the opposite corner. And Tracy stepped in front of it. Deflected it out of bounds. That sends us to a timeout. We've got 6.58 to play in Pittsburgh. It's Oregon 67. South Carolina 54. It's the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Always us. This is Duck Basketball from Learfield. Into the building for the first time after the shooting. It was crippling, but it had to be preserved. In response to the Pulse nightclub shooting that affected the LGBTQ community, Barbara Palma, owner of Pulse, founded the One Pulse Foundation to honor Pulse victims and survivors. If you're an ally of this community, speak out. There are more of us together than apart. It is the power of love in its rawest form. Join the fight for LGBTQ acceptance. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. I'm Chris Jackamick. I served in the United States Air Force and I deployed three times. So in 2017, I was serving as an Air Force First Sergeant. Our motto in that role is my job is people, everyone is my business. But unfortunately in that year, I would lose my own brother, Lance Corporal Adam Jackamick, to suicide. The majority of veteran suicides are from guns. I store my weapons securely, not only for myself, but for my family. Store all your guns securely. Help stop suicide. My service never stops. Brought to you by N Family Fire and the Ad Council. Duck basketball is brought to you by Slocum Center. 57 years as the Ducks' official team doctors. Oregon 67, South Carolina 54. Ducks are shooting 60%, 25 for 42, and 40% from three, 6 of 15. An impressive day from a couple Duck seniors. South Carolina's up to 41% shooting, 18 of 44, and 44% from three, eight for 18. Both teams have been pretty efficient offensively, and the turnovers have really cut down in the second half. Oregon with only one turnover here in the second half, 10 total. Each team has 10 total. The Ducks have cleaned that up for sure. Early in the game, that, that was what kept South Carolina in the game, all those turnovers. Inbound goes to Murray Boyles. South Carolina with it around the perimeter. They move it, now get it back to the left corner, and Cooper hits a three. Minnesota transfer gets South Carolina within 10. 67-57. Shellstad to Tracy left wing. Tracy 
Bounce pass to Kusnar, top of the key, inside to Dante. Double team comes, kick out, Kusnar, catch and shoot. Good from three. 70 to 57, Oregon. 6.23 left to go. Cooper with it for South Carolina. He passes to Murray Boyles. Now to the left wing, right. Back to Murray Boyles. Zips it to the right wing. Studi drives. Give to Murray Boyles in the middle of the lane. Backs out to the perimeter. He passes it to Johnson. Johnson around the screen. Right mid post. Lobbed to Murray Boyles. Left block. He's blocked by Dante. Oregon by 13. Ducks back to offense. Kusnard. Now Evans into the right wing. Tracy. Tracy passes it to Kusnar. Kusnar trying to go to work in the post. Goes toward the basket. Is blocked by Cooper. And the ball ends up on the baseline. And out of bounds to South Carolina. A block on the tie-up gives it to the Gamecocks. 13-point lead for the Ducks with 5.35 left. Murray Boyles dribbles it, spins toward the bucket, scores with the left hand. There's that touch around the bucket that we've heard about from the outstanding freshman. Very versatile player. 10 points a game, 6 rebounds, about a steal and a block per game as well. Kusnard. Left wing inside to Dante. Dante loses the handle, able to get it back near the free throw line. Throws it to Kusnard, who's fouled. South Carolina went for the steal, and Kusnard gets help back up from Tracy. The fourth foul on Michi Johnson. So the two leading scorers, Johnson and Mack for South Carolina, both have four fouls. They're the leading scorers on the season. Cooper is the second leading scorer for South Carolina today. Kusnard to the line after the eighth foul against the Gamecocks. Front end of the one and one. Perfect swish. Second free throw coming from Jermaine Kusnard. Oregon in front, 71-59. It's good. 72-59 Ducks. Five minutes left in Pittsburgh. Cooper, top of the key, well beyond the arc. Screen for him to the right wing. Takes it toward the hoop, lays it in. 72-61 now. 4.40 4.40 to play. Shellstad. Now Kusnar, weave around the perimeter to Tracy. Back to Shellstad. And Kusnar goes down the right side, passes to Evans with a slam. Evans drove baseline. Great assist for Jermaine Kusnar. Evans with two points, with authority. 74-61 Ducks. Johnson, the other way, it's blocked out of bounds by Evans, but we've got a whistle. Ooh. I want to see it again. In venue, we get the Evans dunk instead. Four minutes, ten seconds left. Johnson shooting two at the line. Back iron. There's some phrase that you've heard once or twice when you're playing basketball about the ball and lies. Johnson hits that one. 74-62. Ducks with the advantage. Tracy left wing. Tracy give to Evans. Short corner, left side, goes to work in the paint. 
Shot up, foul. Evans to the free throw line when we come back. We've got 3.56 left. Ducks trying to advance to play Creighton. Round two on Saturday. Got to finish the first round, though, when we come back. It's Ducks 74, South Carolina 62 on the Oregon Sports Network from Learfield. Imagine all the fun you can have this spring break in a new Toyota. Woo-hoo! I'm having fun and I'm not even there. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Event ends April 1st. Duck fans, season ticket deposits are available now for the 2024 football season. Don't miss out on the best seats for the inaugural Big Ten schedule. Support Duck football and be in Autzen for every game next fall. Call 1-800-WEBFOOT or visit www.goducks.com and get your seats today. Go Ducks! Look, we totally get it. You'd rather not be listening to an ad right now. But if you have to, a mini ad is better. Maybe even a Pepsi mini ad. Still all the flavor of the full-size thing. Just minier. The way ads should be. Like this one. Pepsi minis. That's what I like. Pepsi is proudly distributed by locally owned Bigfoot Beverages. Go Ducks, drink Pepsi. Imagine all the fun you can have this spring break in a new Toyota. Woo-hoo! I'm having fun and I'm not even there. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Event ends April 1st. Oregon basketball is brought to you by Les Schwab. Your safety is their top priority. That's why they offer free pre-trip safety checks. Schedule yours at LesSchwab.com or stop by your local Les Schwab doing the right thing since 1952. Dana Altman is 8-0 in the NCAA tournament's first round with a win today. Really remarkable what Coach Altman has done in the first round of March Madness. We've got 3.56 to play in Pittsburgh. The two seniors, dominant. Jermaine Cousinard with 34. Folly Dante with 22. Ben Kusnard, if you're wondering, his career high is 39 in the loss to Arizona. I think he'd tell you he doesn't care about the career high. He just wants a win. KJ Evans to the line for a pair, and he hits the first. Seventy-five, sixty-two Ducks. 76-62 Ducks with K.J. Evans hitting the free throw. Evans has eight points. Johnson working it for South Carolina. He passes to Mack. Now to the top. Right tries to drive inside. Deflected. Kick out. Right corner. Triple is short. And an offensive rebound for South Carolina. Right feeling out the defense. Kicks out again to Mack for three. That's good. Mack has only played 18 minutes because he's been in foul trouble, and, well, he's still scored 13 points. You can see he's a difference maker. A 76-65 lead for the Ducks. Tracy to Kusnard, right elbow. Kusnard puts his head down, goes toward the bucket, and is fouled on a shot attempt near the left mid post. 3-0-9. Left to play, Kusnard shooting a pair. He's three of three at the free throw line in the game. Kusnard. 
on the season, Jermaine Cousnard, 74%. Good. Second free throw, good. 78-65, Ducks lead. Coming up on the three-minute mark in the second half. Johnson throws it to the left corner. Three, off the mark, rebound, grabbed by Kusnard. He saves it from going out of bounds to Shellstad. Shellstad across midcourt. Bounce pass, right wing, Tracy. Tracy. Gives it to Kusnar. Down the right side. Hangs in the air. Lobs it for Dante. Couldn't score it. Gets the ball anyway. Puts up a shot attempt. No good. Taken away by South Carolina. The other direction. Mack. Tried to pass it. Stolen by Kusnard. Tracy grabbed it after Kusnard deflected it. 2.24 to go. Oregon by 13. Around the perimeter. Shellstad. Tracy. Kusnard. Kusnard with 36. Dante sets a screen for him. Trap comes. Timeout taken by Kusnard. That was a wise decision by the senior. And I think Coach Altman's going to take his full. Two oh nine remaining. Eight seconds on the shot clock for the Ducks. St. Altman's Ducks, 78. South Carolina, 65. So the Ducks will have two timeouts left. South Carolina also with two. South Carolina, 10 fouls. Oregon with six. So the Ducks are in the double bonus. Jermaine Kusnard is three points shy of his career high. Oregon is shooting 59% and 44% from three, seven for 16. Ducks are also plus four on the boards. A 14 to 10 advantage rebounding the ball in the second half where Oregon has outscored South Carolina 44 to 36. Well, the dynamic duo of Jermaine Kusnard and Infali Dante have just been outstanding. 2.09 left. Kusnard will inbound right in front of our broadcast location. Lob into Dante. From the left block, Dante is fouled by B.J. Mack, and that's his fifth. Mack is done. So Mack has to check out at the 2.06 mark here in the second half. And Folly Dante will go to the line. Free throw. Bounces off the rim. Ducks as a team, though, in this game at the line have been pretty good. 17 for 23, 74% at the foul line. Dante hits the second. It's 79-65, Oregon leading. Just about two minutes remaining here in Pittsburgh. Johnson, left elbow jumper, goes down and a foul. That's one the Ducks would like back defensively. 18 points from Johnson. That's the seventh against the Ducks and the fourth on Bam Tracy. Three-point play potentially for Johnson. He's at the line. Leading scorer for South Carolina. 
and he hits it. Johnson now with 19, and almost all of them are in the second half. He has scored 16 points in the second half. Under two minutes to go, 79-68 Ducks. Evans races up the floor, passes to Dante. Two Gamecocks around him. It deflects out of bounds off Dante, they say, but I thought it went off South Carolina's Murray Boyles, who was on the floor, and they're going to review it. Two Gamecocks were around Dante, and one of them ended up hitting the deck, and I think it went off Murray Boyles in the process of Dante trying to gather his feet. He got tied up and then went out of bounds, I think off the foot of Murray Boyles. They're going to look at it, get it right here the last minute 48. The Ducks, though, without a field goal in two minutes and 34 seconds. The crew at the scorer's table. The one official who isn't looking at it yet is the one the Ducks are familiar with the most in Greg Nixon. He officiates a lot of Pac-12 games. The other two officials are Byron Jarrett and Brandon Cruz here in Pittsburgh. Three players in double figures for South Carolina. Two in double figures for the Ducks, led by Jermaine Kusnard's 36, and in Folly Dante's 23. And looking at it up on the video board again, it's definitely off the leg of of Murray Boyles. Ducks lead 79 to 68. Three officials now getting together, talking it over. They break their review, and the ball will go to Oregon. Ducks get possession. Shellstad will inbound from the baseline out of bounds. Gets it into Kusnard. Kusnard. Dribbles around the perimeter. Ducks want to run some clock here, leading 79 to 68. Tracy, right wing, now to Kusnard up top. Kusnard takes it to the left mid post, hits the J. 38 for Kusnard. One shy of his career high. Minute 24 to play. Right. To the left wing, Murray Boyles. Hand off there to Cooper. Pass inside to Murray Boyles. Misses the contested shot. Rebounds the miss. Ball ends up on the floor, and it's gathered by the Ducks. Minute 10 to play. Shellstad races across. He's fouled. Got fouled on the sideline. And he'll go to the line for two. With Oregon leading 81-68. to 68. Shellstad will shoot two and hits the first. Minute seven remaining. Shellstad hits both. 83 68 Ducks. South Carolina with a long three, and Johnson hits from NBA range, left side of the floor. 
83-71. Ducks get it in to Shellstad, and he's fouled. He got tied up a bit, but the foul ultimately will result in free throws again for Jackson Shellstad. Shellstad, two for two at the line, now three for three. Jackson Shellstad, the third player for the Ducks in double figures. Dante with 23, Kusnard with 38. Shellstad hits. It's 85 71 Oregon. Johnson, right wing for South Carolina. Takes it toward the bucket. He hits the lay in. Ducks by 12, inbound to Shellstad. Shellstad against pressure, got to get it up the floor. And a timeout taken by the Ducks. I can hear Coach Altman from where we are across the bench yelling, got to get it down the floor. 38.6 seconds left. Ducks lead 85-73. You knew coming into this thing that the senior leadership was going to be so important, but 38 and 23 for five and one pretty doggone good from Jermaine Kusnard and Infali Dante so out of the timeout Evans inbound to Kusnard who's fouled Ducks with one timeout left South Carolina with two and none of that should matter Just under 38 seconds left. Kusnard to the line. And these are big free throws for him individually. First free throw good. Jermaine Kusnard has tied his career high here in this first round NCAA tournament game. Second free throw. New career high for Jermaine Kusnard. 40 points. Have yourself a day, Jermaine Kusnard. Three up from Johnson at the other end, no good. Rebound kicks out long to Tracy, and Tracy can dribble out the clock. Jermaine Kusnard scored 40 points here today. And Folly Dante with 23. The senior leadership leading the Ducks. Final seconds. Tick off. Oregon is advancing to play Creighton on Saturday. 87 to 73. The Ducks over South Carolina. The madness isn't over. The Ducks continue to rise to the occasion. Win or go home. And the Ducks win 87-73. A date with Creighton on Saturday here in Pittsburgh. Not done yet. Dana Altman is still undefeated as the head coach of the Ducks in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Oregon 87 and South Carolina 73 here in Pittsburgh. The Ducks and the Blue Jays. Here on the horizon. We'll have a tip time in the coming days. Ducks clapping it up right now in front of the fans that made the trip. 
An impressive performance and the impressive run continues for Dana Altman's Ducks. What a job so far. And it's just not done yet. Jackson Shellstad with 11. KJ Evans with eight. And Jadrian Tracy with three. Brennan Rigsby off the bench with two. What a performance. Oregon shooting 60% from the floor. 45% shooting for South Carolina. And the Ducks really were in control the entire second half. An impressive, impressive day for the Ducks. Jackson Shellstad coming over to join us.